make lifestyle choices to enhance your well-being. This is Natural Inspirations. You are listening to Natural Inspirations Podcast, the show where we have conversations with local natural health experts to inspire your healthy life choices. Welcome to episode 35. I'm Chris Urquhart, publisher of Natural Awakenings Magazine for the Space and Treasure Coast. Today, we're talking about using the power of your body to heal your body with Dr. Alita Sakura. If you've suffered an injury to a joint, have arthritis in your knees, or maybe even hoping to avoid surgery, I hope this conversation can help you. PRP is a natural way to ease pain, regenerate tissue, and return to your active lifestyle. Hi, Dr. Sakura. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me today. So we're talking a little bit about PRP today, and it's been gaining popularity in sports and cosmetics and things like that. But you, can you just give us an idea of what A, what does it stand for, and how does it work? Sure. So uh, PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Um, it is taken from your own blood. The platelets are a component of the blood. That's what causes your blood to clot. And the plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. Um, so what we do is we take your blood, we spin it in a centrifuge to get the platelets, and then we spin again to break the platelets down where we get a lot of growth factors and anti-inflammatory factors. Uh, so this is then injected after it's prepared um, right into the affected area. Um, so the platelets are, uh, they're specially prepared and concentrated in a much higher concentration that's in, than is normally in your blood. And what they do is they have the anti-inflammatory, um, you know, mediators are called cytokines that they release. And then they also have a, a lot of different growth factors. And those growth factors then stimulate stem cells in your body. Uh, the stem cells are what recruit more of your own cells to heal and repair. Um, so you have these, you know, it really uh, jump starts the healing and repairing process and reduces inflammation and um, affects, you know, the, the cell recovery and the cell remodeling. So what do you find is the best thing that you can use this for? What application? Is it mostly for injuries and do certain types of injuries respond better than others? Um, well, platelet-rich plasma, first, it's been around actually for a long time. It's been around since the 1980s, and studies have shown that it does um, have a, it more benefit than steroid injections in plantar fasciitis, um, Achilles tendonitis, you know, the Achilles tendon in the foot, and also um, with elbows, with golf elbow and tennis elbow. It, it's superior to cortisone. Uh, so we use it for those issues. Those are usually, yes, sports or other, you know, just from people falling. Or um, So we use it for ligament tears. We also use it for rotator cuff tears and tendonitis. It helps heal and repair. Like a par if somebody has a partial tear, they're not necessarily needing surgery. It'll help heal that, that partial tear. Um, I also use it Sometimes after surgery, if people are still having issues and not healing, it'll help speed the healing process. So I've done that actually after um, people have had a rotator cuff tear or sometimes after a knee ligament um, repair. I've also used it in athletes with muscle tears, muscle strains that aren't healing, and they keep on re-injuring the same area by playing the sport. Um, again, you're, this will help speed up the healing and help reduce pain and inflammation. Um, so it can be used for a multitude of musculoskeletal um, injuries, and it can help people avoid surgery. We also do use it for cosmetics. Uh, we won't get too much into that, but it, it does help regenerate tissue. So we actually use it to help grow hair back in the scalp for people that are losing hair. And we use it in the face to help reduce um, lines and wrinkles and just even out skin tone. It actually helps promote your body to make more collagen. So it has a multitude. It's used in dentistry to help um, heal gum disease. Uh, so it really has a lot of amazing um, applications. 
Right, right. So I have uh, two questions are coming to mind when you're talking. One, you mentioned it, it performs better than the cortisone. And I'm kind of thinking cortisone is a completely different uh, philosophy in, in going after pain, correct? It's more of a suppressant, whereas this yeah. is completely different. Correct, correct. With this, you actually, this is a regenerative medicine treatment. So regenerative means you actually are causing a little bit of inflammation to stimulate healing. I mean, you have anti-inflammatory molecules that we're injecting with the, the, the breaking platelets, but the part of the healing process, you do get a little bit of inflammation. So the cortisone works completely differently. It's to suppress inflammation, but it doesn't regenerate any tissue. Uh, too much cortisone can actually damage tissue. So that's where this is a different process. And we actually don't want to do this if you've had a cortisone shot in the, like the previous two weeks. Um, I don't want people taking um, anti-inflammatories for, for two weeks after because that can suppress the regenerative um, process. Right, right. And you mentioned using it after surgeries. Do you find that you get people who come to you after they've tried other kinds of things and what other kinds of things, you know? Oh, yes. Well, you just mentioned cortisone injections. Um, so yes, I do get people that have tried cortisone injections, failed. Uh, they don't want surgery or they want to wait and see if their body will naturally heal. Um, usually they tried physical therapy. They might've tried chiropractic or massage, acupuncture, you know, other modalities like ultrasound, and they're just not getting better. Especially a lot of these, um, if it's a repetitive injury, like if you keep on playing sports or you keep on doing the same activity, or let's say you injure your knee and you want, you're just walking, you keep on causing um, you know, micro injuries every time you're active. So yes, so I usually get people once they have failed, maybe a steroid injection or physical therapy. Um, some people have also been told they're not a candidate for surgery. Uh, like I have a few people that are in their fifties with knee arthritis and they're, they were told by orthopedics, they're just too young or their arthritis isn't severe enough and they should wait. So then they say, what do we do? And I say, well, we can try this, uh, the, the PRP, see if you heal and regenerate, and you may never even need that surgery. Right. And actually, I do have great results with knee arthritis, especially, um, responds very well to PRP. That's fantastic. So, so since PRP, you're, you're actually pulling blood tissue from your own body. To me, that seems like a huge plus. So is that one of the major benefits? And what are the, do you see as like the best, the most oh, impressive benefits yeah, for PRP? Exactly natural treatment. You're using your own body. You're using the blood from your body to heal your body. There's minimal risk with that. Um, you're, you generally don't have a reaction to your own platelets. Um, so, you know, it's very safe. The only, the only, you know, when you are injecting other medications, you may have a reaction. It could be a, you know, a severe allergic reaction. Um, and then, you know, you're using platelets, which are um, amazing in that they have all those growth factors and um, cytokines that help the inflammation. What you're doing is you're concentrating them. So you are using the healing power of your body with technology. So we have the technology where we can actually take it and concentrate to five to seven times the amount in your blood. So we can, you know, super concentrate. Basically, we're making a medication from your own body and injecting it to heal your own body. Um, and this is really where I see the future of medicine. I don't, you know, I see that we'll be seeing a lot more of these types of injections down the road, you know, and also the other, um, there's not the downtime that you have with surgery. There's not the risk of anesthesia and then the healing process. You know, if you have a joint replacement, you're going to be uh, at least a couple months in, in therapy, you'll be pain, you know, having pain and soreness. In this, usually you have maybe a few days where you might be a little sore, and then you're, you know, I encourage people to resume activity, uh, you know, usually 48 hours after the injection and to start some rehab. So those are the main benefits. So that after you're uh, um, an injection like this, you know, your body's responding, right, and creating a healing right. response. What is the, the typical time period where you might see some improvement? Um, so you have, it depends on what your injury is. If it's an acute injury, there's usually 
you know, an acute phase that happens after the injury before the healing process starts. Um, if it's more of a chronic condition, it, it may take a little longer. Um, so I usually tell people to give it two to three months to see how your body responds. Right. But in general, I do have people that tell me they get relief within a week or two. And that is, again, because the platelets have those anti-inflammatory mediators. So that helps the pain in the, you know, immediately. But then the regeneration repair, it takes time. Your body is recruiting stem cells. The stem cells are making new um, tissues, you know, so it's not, it's not an overnight process. So yeah, generally I say two to three months to really see how you respond to it. Do you find that it sometimes takes more than one, I guess, injection or procedure? Do you? Do you, is it is it usually a, a one and done, or do you sometimes need to come back for a more of a maintenance type thing after a period of time? Uh, again, that depends on the extent of the injury. If it's a mild strain or mild arthritis, no, usually one injection is enough. Um, I have had people, you know, they they've done really well for even years, but then they re-injure it, so then they'll come back. But in general, I'm not having you come in for a series of injections. I generally do one, and like I said, give it two to three months to see how your body responds. Um, and sometimes we'll use it as a boost for other treatments. Like, we're not talking about that today, the stem cells, but let's say I treat your knee with stem cells. I might say, come back in six months and we'll boost the stem cells with the PRP. But okay. I, that, that's, that's not the topic today. Yeah, that, that would be a whole nother... <sighs> whole nother uh, conversation to have. That sounds interesting. Very good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your, your knowledge on this. It sounds like PRP is certainly a, a why not give it a go kind of treatment. It doesn't sound like there's any downside. It's, it's using your own tissue and your own body's healing response. So I think it's exciting. Like you said, future of medicine, I think it's exciting. Yes. I mean, my motto is you're using the power of your own body to heal your body. Perfect. Yeah, I really like that. So thank you again for your time. You. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And everyone, be well, stay connected.